Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. Now we are inside of Microsoft Loop and we are going to build ourselves a second brain inside of Microsoft Loop, which is probably the simplest app I have ever had to do this in, because Microsoft Loop is actually quite simple to use. But let's say we wanted to start with a dashboard. Uh, so I want to create myself a dashboard where I can see all of my tasks, upcoming events, and just a place to have all of my different stuff. So let's start with creating a table. So tables are what you can use for tasks. There are two ways to do this. You have the table or if you're working with a team and you want to use Microsoft Planner as well, task list is probably a lot better. I don't actually use Microsoft Planner, at least not in my own private space. So I wouldn't do it like this. Uh, I would just use the table and I would add different uh names to my column so this is the task uh let's say take out the trash take out the trash another one of those videos where i have to take out the trash i actually have to do it today then we can jump into here and change the column type i want a date column because i want a due date so let's write due date uh and then i want um a tag column or a label which it is called inside of microsoft loop let's change this label and we can add our label group or we can use this one you can create your own or you can use the ones that come this is called progress which is great for a task so this is my main dashboard then i want another thing i want something called inbox and i'm going to show you how this would work but before we do that we can add our areas uh, which is just a page uh, and it is really easy to make a page you can just press the new page button uh, I want my dashboard to be on top uh, and I have created myself an inbox. Let's say I was just walking around doing my regular work and I come up with an idea or a task. Let's say I have to remember, remember to pay bills. Uh, remember to pay bills. So let's say I am back home and I want to move this into its proper place. I will just uh, copy this and put it inside of my task and give it a due date. The same goes for if I had a social media video idea, I would do the same and place it inside of one of my areas. So the reason for why I have created this areas page is just because I want to have sub pages underneath it. Why do I want to have sub pages? Because this left sidebar tends to have a lot of pages in them if you use Microsoft Loop regularly, especially, especially your resources would probably have a lot of things underneath it but you could have a sub page and another sub page underneath so let's say i wanted to have one for my social media we can create just a table for now uh, and just call this social media ideas and let's say one of the ideas was a microsoft loop video I wanted to create myself a Microsoft Loop video, then I can add a new page and I can actually put it underneath this and I can call it Microsoft Loop Video. So there is one other thing I could actually um, tag or add a link to this page, but because of how Microsoft Loop works or I think it's a bug that pages don't show up right away. But by the end of the video, this should probably show up. So I can get back and uh, show you that later. But I want a social media ideas dashboard or a table, a database. You can call it whatever you want. We want a label here. 
a progress label but i want another one progress social media and here we have idea we have filmed uh, we have edited and we have published that's what i mainly use but you could customize this the way you want it to uh, let's delete this column and we can add another one called due date um, here we go uh, this is called due date and we will make this again a date column uh, and here you could add your due dates uh, so that's basically it for my social media i want to have one for my personal relations so personal relations and i'm going to use myself as an example uh, we will put this in our areas uh, and i want to create a sub page underneath this you can create a sub page by pressing here as well uh, but i'm going to use myself as an example so we are closing in on christmas and i always tend to buy good uh, gift gifts to people and that is simply because every time they talk about something i write it down so i can go and get that gift later uh, so i would call this gift ideas i would start writing different gift ideas inside of here uh, and just have them for later another thing i like to add is uh, uh, for example um, what are they working on right now just to help myself remember it isn't that I don't remember all of these things. Gift ideas, I probably won't remember, but what they're doing, what they're interested in, I tend to remember it, but I just want to have a place where I can store it in case my life gets in the way and I become a terrible person that forgets everything. Uh, so I would have personal relations inside of here. I would have my clothing brand inside of here. Can call this Sekamora, which is the name of my clothing brand, which I haven't worked on lately because life gets busy. Uh, here I would have a table for social media ideas. So we have one problem with, as I've talked about before, with these tables, uh, because you can actually make this into a loop component. So I could create a loop loop component and I could paste it el elsewhere inside of my workspace. The only problem with that is that the database, the filters on the database are universal for your entire workspace. So I can't have one view with filters here and another view here. Uh, that's pretty unfortunate. So I have to create myself two social media uh, databases which isn't the best but it works and if you're working in a team you are probably or you probably have to use microsoft loop and this is the best way i have found to have structure to your microsoft loop because it just gets to a lot of different pages and having the ability to collapse this makes your life a lot easier and as Tiago Forte writes in his book, everything can be stored within areas, resources, archive, or projects. So we will add ourselves a project, uh, a project page, and here I will create myself a table as well. But this is going to be a little bit different. So this will be the project name, because in our life we tend to have. A lot of different projects some we are able to get to and others we aren't and if we don't write it down we often end up forgetting about them and some of them might even be projects we want to do so i have my project name here uh, and i have a tag this is called or a label uh, this is called project 
tags let's just call it that you could call it wherever whatever you want uh, but we have project idea we have pro upcoming project coming project then we have um you could probably just write doing but let's say doing project done project and this is a way for me to have control of all of my different projects and i have a rule in my life because i tend to overwhelm myself and i will write down that rule never never have more than eight on ongoing projects that's my rule your rule might be different but that is my rule uh, and just to help myself remember i will have this up here and i can have a list of all of my project let's say a project was house or kitchen remodeling and let's say this was due right before Christmas which is a great time to start a new project uh, upcoming project this is a doing project let's say I have started this then I would create myself a new page called kitchen remodeling and I would put it inside of my projects and once the project is done I haven't created that yet but I would do it right now I will make an archive I will move this down here not down here but please work down here here we go and once it is done, I will just move it into my archives. Into my archives like this. You can see if it is inside of, uh, it is a sub page or not. If the main page has this arrow underneath it. So that's how you can see it. Uh, and this would probably be the way I would be doing it. And I would add a filter, which is project tag is not done project and you could actually apply multiple uh filters it is just like notion or any type or any other app you have used and again it is because i am not able to add the page that's why we have to do it this way the easiest way would just be to mention the page in the table uh let me just show you here. Let's see if we can do it. Um, projects. Nope. Not available yet. Uh, but this is a bug. This is uh, a bug. Uh, and they should be able to fix it quite soon, hopefully. Uh, that's that's why we have to do it like this and then the last page is just my resources uh, and here I would probably put this underneath my areas and we can take our notes and create some pages and put them underneath here Let's see if I can find a note to paste inside of here just to show you how this works. So this is a podcast transcript and I will just control V. Here we go. And you have the page here. And we can call this, we can take the episode title, copy it and paste it inside of here. So that's basically how I would set up my um, second brain inside of Microsoft Loop. There are still a lot of things that need to be done, but if you're in a working environment, this is probably the best way to set it up. And one more thing I wanted to show you is that instead of using this inbox feature, which I use basically because I like it this way, there is an easier way, and that is just to use the ideas and add different ideas. That is a lot easier than actually using your uh, um, using your um, 
inbox or for many people it at least is I don't like the fact that I have to jump into here and jump back but that is just a personal thing so you could have a inbox here and just add a lot of things anyways thank you so so much for watching today's video if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and I hope to see you again quite soon